we're not going doing the Pro Tools thing this time. So it's going to be... What do you mean by Pro Tools thing? Pro Tools thing is you go in and you, like, on the, like you're doing a puzzle, and you edit little parts. You put one part here and then the guitar, like, like you know, you, you play one note because it was wrong on one take, and you go like, Garp, and put it in there. Make it right. So every in, in the end of the day, it looks like a, an amazing band. Even the band that the bands that are shit are gonna sound amazing when they when they do the Pro Tools thing. So um, yeah, it's old school. It's like you know, people used to record 20 or some 30, 40 years ago when they were Pro Tools. Yeah, like real drums and real guitar <laughs> and like real everything. Isn't it amazing? It's a totally new thing. <laughs> Sounds raw and real. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I mean, it's, uh, it's you know, like I said, it's nothing new. It's uh, it's it's just uh, going back to basics. I think it's not it's not such a big deal. It's just something that we rediscovered because I think a lot of the um, metal albums nowadays, they production-wise, they sound very similar, and we want to do we want you know we want to be different, and it won't be like it won't be you won't. Some people probably won't even notice the difference, but I will, which is important. I know what you mean, like because like so many bands these days are so polished, like yeah, and that's what I mean. the we wanna, yeah, we want to put we want to put this dirt back into the music, and we want to we want to get uh, the you know I think the the music that we play, which is extremely brutal thrash metal, was supposed to be um, like directly in your face and and, and, and strong and, and, and energetic and powerful. Not that I'm saying that, that um, the Pro Tools and, and, and the the old school, um, uh, the, the, the newer uh, form of producing is, is, is wrong or bad. It's just, I think, not many bands nowadays, it's not many bands doing it the other way around anymore. Because, you know, the technology is a great thing. And, um, yeah, we'll see, you know. The songs are good. <laughs> Have to be. If the songs are shit, it's all useless. But thanks very much for the interview and thank you so much for talking so much to me. <laughs> but um, like, I hope that you enjoy your stay in Helsinki. Yeah. And if you drink, I hope you get drunk. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. Just fine, thanks. And uh, you, do you live in uh, Helsinki or where do you live in Finland? I used to live in Helsinki, but nowadays I live in Jyväskylä, in the middle of Finland. Okay. So how far is that? Something like a two and a half hundred kilometers, not so far. A couple of hours with the car. And what what has Finland become like when the Tuska festivals are on? Are they like play metal on the radio and stuff? Actually, they are playing metal on the radio, you know whole year so because metal is so huge they are playing metal all the time but in Helsinki it's it's all black because of the people but one thing thing what is uh, black metal you mean black, no, black black clothes and oh, black. yeah <laughs> it almost looks like that all the trolls have came came from their caves and um, because all the metal people gather here, here in Helsinki and believe it or not but this is the most uh, peaceful uh, festival in Finland there's no violence or anything like that? No, no, nothing like that. What, what, what are the festivals that are quite violent then? <laughs> I think the most violent festivals are these, uh, you know, Humpa and Tango festivals. Uh, the old people are, people are dancing like tango and stuff like that. Uh, the old men get drunk and start beating each other. Yeah, because some guy is looking at his wife. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. <laughs> Battle of Festa 
started in 1999. Um, you've been going for quite a few years now. Tell us a bit about your history. Yeah, we have done four albums and one DVD. A lousy one, but anyway, one DVD. And uh, we have just uh, finishing our next album. And uh, we have had some uh, lineup changes. Uh, not not like in, in in our two two latest albums, but uh, in the beginning, beginning when uh, people had had to make choices about touring and their personal life and stuff like that. So you've been going almost like what nine years, but you've only released four albums. Is that the pace that you'd like to work at, or um, is it because of the lineup changes or like hurdles that you've had to face? Yes, four albums, nine years. Actually, it's going to be ten years soon, and we've been planning. Uh, some kind of a live DVD or some kind of celebration or I, I don't know. Welcome to this new album you're talking about. Uh, what is it called and will you be touring it? Yeah, the album is called The Last Alliance. Uh, taken, the title is taken from the Tolkien's Middle Earth theme, uh, and uh, it should be out in uh, end of September. And it's going to be at the moment. It's going to be the last album for the Napalm Records. All the other uh, albums have released uh, uh, by Napalm Records, and uh, this is the last album at the moment. And then we are looking. Uh, Looking the next step that are we going to continue with Napalm or maybe with some other label, we don't really don't know yet because we just want to concentrate to this album and do some touring in Finland and in the end of the year uh, around Europe and uh, it's going to be a little bit different album comparing the others. I don't know, maybe the material uh, is a bit more, how would you say it, uh, mature, maybe more, more friendly to the radios. Not that we meant to, meant to do something like that, but uh, for us it sounds like that. So what is it with metal bands and Tolkien? Like everyone seems to be into that. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the same thing like with uh, Norse mythology or things like that. Uh, I don't really know because there are the bands like Burtzum and Gorgoroth and uh, Amon Amarath, oh, all the names from Tolkien. I think that it's just so damn good story that people want to use those titles. It's a great story. Yeah. If they were going to make a movie out of a fantasy novel and they asked you to make the song for it, what novel would it be? I think it would be like uh, really interesting to do uh, music for uh, Stephen King's uh, Black Tower. I have just read it and uh, it's an amazing book and so versatile that uh, I think that there could be metal music also added into uh, soundtrack or something. I don't know. Wow, that sounds really interesting. I should read it. What is it about? It's about this. It's almost like a Western story. There is this cowboy, but the whole world is like a fucking psychedelic and with all kind of monsters and uh, t time spaces are changing and uh, really weird stuff and time traveling around and really weird stuff. Hard to explain. You just have to I should read it. Yeah, yeah. And you should read it. I need a drink, I can't go. Bye! Thank you.